Hello everybody, Frankie Day back in on YouTube. Okay guys, uh, I've been pretty much at this off and on for the last two or three days. Doing my job and I had working and taking care of other things around the house kind of tear me away from the working bench so everything's all side and all done so I'm back at it again so right now guys this is video number three of my Charles Morgan somehow this model is very addicting to me I don't know why maybe because it's older I don't know what it is I just uh I'm just sticking with it okay guys I'm starting the standing rigging now the standing rigging is the strength of integrity of the vessel itself without standing rigging this ship would not have a chance to sail at all and the standing rigging is the main structure and main bracing of, of your mast, your lifts, your bow sprit, your dolphin striker, your cut water. All the strength and integrity on a ship is, is with your standing rigging. So starting out with your four backstays, once the four backstays have been all set up to your dead eyes, your combos, up to the chain plates, that takes this mask right here, folks. I adjust this mask because you do want to glue this mask down before you do the staying rigging. Because if you glue the mask down, somehow along the line, things uh, uh, the, uh, the glue is, sometimes it, you, you could pull a warp into the mast. We would do it time. So it's best always to leave your mast not glued when you set it down on the side of your, your previous drilled hole to the deck. That way you'll be able to adjust your mast as you do your staying rigging. So I got the uh, I got the four stays all done, the back stays are all done. I got to do now to complete the rigging up forward. I can rig up the stay chains on top of the bowsprit tip up to the martingale up the dolphin striker, and from the dolphin striker up to the chain plates up to the cut water. They got to be rigged up, and I got a few more shrouds also going to the cat head too, which also dead eyes. I got my dead eyes all all pre previously rigged. And I've got them all rigged up to the cat head, up to the bowsprit. And it's going pretty good, guys. So uh, after I finish up the, uh, the, the rigging of the bowsprit, I'm going to go into the mesomist, the mainmist, and go ahead and do the same thing with the main back stays and the fore stays. And that mast is completely stationary. And the lastly would be the mizzen mast. When the mizzen mast is all done, folks, I'm going to go to the shrouds. Now the, shroud, the shrouds are all been done and landered up. I'm going to go ahead and do my... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sew on my rat lines up to my shrouds. <clears throat> Once that's done, that completes the standing rigging. The fun part is, it's setting up your sail, uh, your yards, and rigging your halyards, and rigging up your bunt lines, your clue lines, your sheet lines, also your lift blocks, which goes to your halyards. They got to be all previously rigged on your yards, it's also on the mast. So it's going to be fun there, folks. So the fun really gets, gets going is when you get this, this, the running rigging going. Okay, guys, we're going to zoom in a little bit, and I'll show you how much I got done this bad thing. We'll go to, we'll go to something else here. Hang on, folks. Here we go. Okay, guys, it's a little closer than it was. I got all my four stays done on my foremast, all the way down. I've got this. I got your top of Gallant Royal foremast stay, all the way up to the bowsprit tip, and it's been around made an eye around the bowsprit, seized off a fuse wire. It touched with black paint. Same thing is done with eye up here. It made eye around the yard. And went ahead and uh, seized that off. All the lines that had eyes on were seized off. The same thing on the back stays. The same thing is going to be on the uh, on the shrouds too, fellas. And uh, so far I've got my dead eyes right there. As you can see, already rigged over to the cat head. This goes up to the, the foretop stay up to the bowsprit. And this has got to be seized right here, which I didn't do it yet. That's me next. This has got to be seized in as a devil. And of course, got the back stays done. I got to uh, finish up the bow sprit. I got to put my bow sprit stays with the chains from here. And another one comes down this way, and one via makes to another cat head to the make a rigger combo with your dead eyes. You got chains coming here, you got chains going to your chain plates, to your cut water, up your martingale. So once the valve bit's all done, now I'm proceed with the main mast right here. Bring the four stay, and so on and so forth. When I get up there, when this mast is all completely done, I'm going to start on the shrouds. That's where the fun's really going to begin. 
And uh, as you can tell, she's going pretty good, folks. It's a, it's a, it's an old model and one of a kind kit. It's all solid, guys. No, no plastic at all in this kit. None, none whatsoever. This thing is made entirely out of wood and metal. That's the only two uh, materials this ship is uh, designed and made made for. Okay, guys. Uh, we'll back off right here. This is number three on here. I went down there to my favorite hobby shop today. Loaded up some more model supplies. And I uh, went and bought me some... Uh, I think I got them here somewhere. Here they are. I got some blocks right here, fellas. I bought some more dead eyes because I noticed that the dead eyes in this kit, which is right here, these dead eyes here are made from lead. A lot of them are disintegrating, they're falling apart. So it's telling me I can't use these too much on this here model. So I had to pick through them a little bit here and there, find out the good ones that would have some kind of life expectancy up to 20 years. Which is good enough for me, because I'll probably be gone before that. But or maybe perhaps I may be around here longer than that. Who knows? But I like to stay here as long as I can, folks. I ain't no hurry for a dirt nap. Okay, put those over there. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to let it rest for the night. Tomorrow we'll go ahead and complete the valve sprint. And I'll have another video of this thing probably by Friday. And uh, she's coming along, guys. It's going to be a good winter build. And... Uh, I'm going to get her done as much as I can, then I shut her down for a while, I'll go to something else. And yeah, that something else could be anything. And uh, everything changes with me, guys. You know, I just I say, do this, do that, and, and things call on me. Incidentally, folks, I went to my hobby shop and they bought this. This is a wooden kit. This, this one is $109, and I got it for $89. And uh, it was brand new. And this is an actually a Baltimore Clipper design hull. This is back in 1819 during the Revolution. This is actually a privateer skinner. It has a carronade, 32 pound carronade, set for, uh, and that's all cigar for I'm to offend them. <coughs> These kits are pretty good kits, Argentina. But they let me down this time, folks. Well, I'll open this kit here. They give you a reference plan right here where you, t where you follow your rigging. Well, and they give you your instructions and a catalog. And they give you a little pictor a pictorial brochure right here. It shows you how to make your mask and everything like this and stuff. And the good instructions are step by step. Instructions are excellent. But there's one mistake they flubbed up. I don't know what they're thinking when they uh, put this in the kit. Just like our, our Gary Breaker said, don't they have any quality control? And most highly likely they don't in this kit. Guys, this right here is supposed to be my my swift right here, and they give me a goddamn uh, a riverboat. It's called the King of the Mississippi. Now, how the hell am I going to build a, an early 19th century revenue cutter out of a doggone steamship plan? So I got a hold of them, sent them an email, says I need uh, the reference plan for for this kit here, and so. Hopefully I'll forget some of them. If I don't, I'll probably get, get hooked up in some kind of forms or something and uh, and go ahead and make some kind of a thread about uh, getting some instructions or some uh, reference plans for it. Okay, guys. And uh, we're here about complete the build here. I won't stay in this YouTube too long, folks. I got things I got to do. And incidentally, uh, this may be a build going down the line. Plank and frame. And a pretty good, decent kit until he, he flubbed up and gave me a doggone reference plan sheet of a riverboat besides the doggone uh, schooner. But anyway, that'll be that. Okay, folks, this is, the, this is a it's number three video in here. And again, I uh, hope everybody be safe out there. I'd like to thank everybody tuning in. May God bless. And uh, we'll catch you next video, folks. Uh, next video, we'll share something my Baltimore Clipper going pretty soon. And, uh, and we'll get something going else going. And i got a lot of things calling on me right now. And uh, eventually, I'll get them done. But right here, I'll be on this thing for a while until I get it ready. Exactly how much I want to get done before I go to something else, folks. Just a break of the redotony because I don't want to spend too much time on it. Just enough back and forth till it's done. It will be done before winter's over. I guarantee you that. And i got a few others, too, to be done also, too. Okay, guys, uh, time for you to get out of here right now. And I'd like to thank everybody tuning in one more time again. May God bless. 
and we'll catch you guys folks on the next video and um it's Frankie Day signing off and may God bless you boys. Well take care man.